guys, I'm Smitty, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Umarex Elite Force M4 CQB Airsoft Rifle. This is a magazine-fed select fire AEG. It is an SBR, or short barrel rifle. It weighs 4.5 pounds out of the box. With the stock fully collapsed, it is 27.5 inches in length. With the stock fully extended, it is 31 inches in length. Now, this is a starter pack that is sold by Umarex. It's available at Academy Sports for $149.99. With tax, you can walk out of the door with it for $162. Now, this pack includes everything you need to get started except, of course, your safety kit as well as your ammo. So let's open the box up and take a look at what's included. Out of the box, you got your AEG, you got a 9.6 volt battery, you've got a vertical grip, two 300 round high cap magazines, your smart charger, and of course, you've got your instruction booklet for the gun, and then you've got an instruction booklet for the charger. All right, so let's talk about the features on the Elite Force M4 CQB. We'll begin up front. You have your permanently attached orange flash hider. You've got a bayonet lug below that. You've got your A2 front sight post. You've got a sling swivel. You've got a two-piece nylon polymer quad rail with aluminum heat shields installed. There's your vertical grip. You also have an aluminum faux gas tube up top. The upper and lower receiver are made from nylon polymer. You've got your pick rail up top. You've got your adjustable A2 rear sight back here. Your brass deflector, pull the charging handle back. It will open the dust cover, and this will give you access to the hop-up right here, which is the standard dial hop-up. You got your A2 pistol grip. You do have a rear sling swivel attachment point that is ambidextrous on both sides. You have your adjustable stock. And then, of course, your butt pad is removable. which gives you access to the battery compartment. Reach in and pull out your battery wire. Sure that it is connected properly. And insert your battery into the butt stock. Sure that your wiring is placed correctly. And your wiring has to feed between these two sections here on the butt stock, push it in, snap it in, it's good to go. On this side, you have your fire selector switch, safe, semi, and full auto. Non-functioning bolt catch. Also included are the 300 round high cap magazines. Some of these only include one, some of them include two. All right, guys, so for the shooting portion of the test, we're gonna be looking at accuracy and range. I'm gonna take the M4 CQB from a seated supported position and engage a target out from seven meters, 10 meters, and then 20 meters.
All right, guys, so here's my final thoughts on the Elite Force M4 CQB. Really great gun. Uh, I shot targets out at 7 meters, 10 meters, and 20 meters. I was using 20 gram BBs. According to Umarex, with 20 gram BBs, the gun is shooting at 330 feet per second. I didn't have a crony to test that. One of the things that I discovered is those 20 gram BBs are way too light for this gun. I was getting a lot of flyers off to the left uh, out at uh, 10 and 20 meters with this gun. Optimally, you want to be shooting something like 25s or 28s out of a CQB gun. Uh, I would recommend 28s uh, to keep the trajectory to BBs flat and to make sure that it's as accurate as possible and you're getting a range out of the gun that you want. It includes a 9.6 volt battery. Previous editions of this gun included an 8.4. You can't use an 11.1 in it. That's too hot for the gearbox. One of the things I'll tell you if you plan on purchasing this gun, first thing you need to do when you get home, take it out of the box. Take your hand guards off and inspect your barrel. Make sure your barrel's tight. Uh, if it's not, you need to adjust it. To do that, you want to pull down on your delta ring. Take your quad rail apart like so. There's your adjustment screws for the barrel. To reinstall it, you're going to put the top one back on first. Pull your delta ring down. And then you want to install your bottom one next. And make sure they snap back in in the delta ring. You're good to go. Really solid gun. I do like it. Uh, if you intend to run a mock suppressor or a tracer unit, you've got a small Allen screw here that's got glue on it. I would highly recommend taking this to a tech, if possible, to have them remove it. You may even find a actual gunsmith uh, who would be willing to do that for you just so you don't mess up this outer barrel and warp it. Uh, this barrel is not free floated. You know, you don't have a free float uh, hand guard on here. Putting a lot of torque on this uh, could potentially pull that barrel and throw your shots off. Just a solid little platform, great entry level gun. Uh, it costs $149.99 at Academy Sports, $162 out of the door uh, with tax here in South Carolina. Uh, I highly recommend buying it if you're getting into airsoft or if you just want a decent entry level CQB type gun. Uh, to play at local fields and competitions uh, until you decide to invest more money and, and determine what direction you want to go in uh, and play in airsoft. But it's a solid gun, solid kit. Uh, for the cost, you can't beat it. So guys, there you have the Elite Force M4 CQB by Umarex.